Hey guys, hanging out in the truck in the driveway. I want to talk to you about how hard it was to mount the full-size tent over the five-foot bed of the Jeep Gladiator. The tent itself is 86 and a half inches long. Uh, we went with the soft top Jeep Gladiator to save on weight and to enjoy the soft top uh, when we don't have the tent mounted. When we do, it caused an incredible amount of flapping and buffeting due to the uh, turbulent air coming between the soft top and the uh, bottom of the tent itself in that little gap. So uh, I did a lot of research, did a lot of reading, couldn't find much on it. Found a lot of stuff on mounting light bars and soft tops and causing the same problem. So I took the things that people discovered and adapted those, those same principles to trying to solve the problem with the tent. And I think I came up with a pretty cheap, pretty easy solution that I'd love to spread to you guys, help you guys solve the same problems if you're trying to do build an overland type truck uh, with soft top as well. So I'll link uh, what we used below. Uh, basic hardware store, we used Home Depot, had everything we needed. Really just a, a two-step process, three if you count cleaning the underneath side of the tent with rubbing alcohol, but then we used a little two inch uh, square foam. It's used for, for insulating air conditioner window units, I believe. And then some of this Gorilla Goo spray adhesive, heavy duty type stuff, and it seems to be holding up great. Uh, I've been rocking the, the foam solution here for about two weeks with no issues there seems to stay in place, not not deteriorating due to weather, spreading itself thin or, or peeling away from the tent itself at all. So I'll crawl back here and in here and we'll, we'll show you what we're working with. So you can see it here. This is the foam. This is the foam between the top of the tent and then the soft top of the Jeep. It's two inches from here to here. And we just have it mounted between the frame rails of the rooftop tent itself. Doesn't create a whole lot of pressure on top of the soft top, which is really nice. Uh, but what it does do is it kind of dams up that air that's it's buffeting through. So now we don't have any any of that flapping or that slapping of the soft top at all. Um, and then an added bonus with the foam is it pushes down on the top of the soft top ever so slightly, nothing crazy, but it also keeps the fabric away from flapping into the metal uh, frame rails of the tent when the wind does pick up a little bit. Uh, if you're currently dealing with this issue, I did find that opening the windows helped a lot so you can get the foam mounted, but we slid the tent back so we could get access to it. Cleaned off the roof with a rubbing alcohol. So we had a really clean uh, adhesive point. And then from there, we just stuck the, the foam with the adhesive onto it in between the frame rails, like I'm showing you. Slid the tent back into place, no more noise. Yeah, like I said, super easy, super cheap solution. I think we're in it for about 12 to $15. I'll link all the products I use, but it's not even visible from outside the truck. No one will ever even know it's there, but you will. The only noise we hear now is the actual wind blowing over and around the tent itself and nothing from the soft top. Pretty amazing fix. So if you're dealing with a similar issue, go ahead and try this. Let me know if it works in the comments below, or if you have other solutions that maybe you want to spread the word about as well. Like I said, didn't see a whole lot of this online, so I figured to get the word out and try to get you guys the same solution. All right, here it is. Uh, this is after the fix that we talked about, the foam and the glue in the bottom of the tent. Doing about 45, 50 miles an hour. Uh, no no buffeting, no slapping of the soft top at all. Uh, just a little bit of wind noise of the, the air blowing over the tent. Snowing down here a little bit, but uh, as you could hear, uh, all that all that big uh, wind noise and the, and the slapping is all gone. So the only other thing is if you don't plan on having the tent overhang the soft top at all on the, the cab side, then this won't be too much of an issue for you because the wind will blow down into the truck bed itself and not over the soft top like we had the issues. But we wanted to mount this large tent as forward as possible, kind of center that uh, center of gravity and that and that balance the weight over mid as mid truck as possible. This is a solution that we came up with and uh, I've been rocking it for two weeks up to 70 miles an hour. It hasn't moved at all. I was a little concerned about the wind pushing it out the back end but not, none of that's happening that adhesive is fantastic 